Hey everybody, Scott Bischoff coming to you for Detroit Lions podcast. We're going to talk about um, a very a very early uh, prospect, Will Anderson, and his specific matchup against Darnell Wright from Tennessee. Uh, stay right there. We're gonna we're gonna get to it right after the break. Willie Anderson versus Darnell Wright uh, in the SEC, Alabama against Tennessee. Uh, this is an interesting matchup. Um, it it really is, and it's uh, in some ways it it leaves me uh, curious about Will Anderson and his future. Um, it also leaves me curious about Darnell Wright and why he isn't talked about maybe more than he should be at this point because he really, um, in that matchup, he locked up Will Anderson and pretty much uh, kind of swallowed him up. So um, there's a lot of things going on, but what, but the first thing to understand is that uh, that Wright is a massive human being um long arms great anchor uh you know all those things you know you're not going to run through him he's just a huge person with with very with with uh, a significant amount of functional power uh playing right tackle for tennessee so um you know in this matchup i would have thought that we would have saw Will Anderson threaten the corner uh, outside on on Darnell Wright and and force Darnell Wright to get out of his pass set. Um, I don't want to say panic, but in some ways it is. Some ways it is uh, forcing a tackle to abandon their their plan, um, getting set up in their pass set because of. The defender's, you know, first step quickness and their uh, explosion and all those things to be able to turn the corner on them and sack the quarterback or pressure the quarterback. And it's tough to find examples of Will Anderson being able to do that to Darnell Wright in that game. It just is. Um so it leaves me with questions about Will Anderson. Like, what does, what is his, uh, what does, and I'm not saying he, he never did this. I'm just saying as a, as a, as a player that the, the way people have talked about Anderson, um, including me last year, and I, and I do think Will Anderson looked more explosive last year than he did this year, but this year, Will Anderson looks a little stiffer, a little heavier, and he he just doesn't have that first step quickness um, to force Darnell Wright to panic, to you know to move differently, to get out, to get off balance. Um, if you can do those things, it does open the door for him to go back inside, which is where which is where Anderson w- seems to want to go. Um, that's kind of like his movie. He likes to go outside and and then back inside between the tackle and the guard. Um, so th- so there's questions there about about Anderson's first step. Is it? I don't know that it's rare. I don't know that it's elite. Clearly, he's a really good athlete, and he's bigger than I gave him credit for. Um, for the way he ran at the combine, for weighing, I want to say he weighed two fifty plus. Um. And also understand, I'm not. I'm not saying he's a bad prospect by any stretch. I'm not. Um, I'm just saying I am personally a little confused at at what I see and what I don't see from him. I, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of people have talked him up like he is this rare elite guy. Like uh, people have compared him to Von Miller, and I, you know, I just don't see any of that. I see. To me, I see. I see uh, Will Anderson as a, as a speed to power bull rush guy who wants to run through the full body of a tackle, and you know, um, in this particular matchup, he's not able to do it. So, you know, that's kind of like uh, 
it's just it's very interesting um you know on the darnell right side of things like you know I, I think we should be talking about him a little a little higher than than just uh you know an end of round one tackle i think he's i think he's a lot better than that and i think this this matchup alone shows you just how much power he has and what his anchor what he's able to do with his anchor um his his ability to move his feet uh his his, his hands once he gets latched on things look really good um you know i i, I mean obviously he you know he's going to move you in in the running game he's you know he's going to create <laughs> he's going to create space um down blocking he is you know he is he is going to move you so you know i think he's I think Darnell Wright's a um, you know a higher a higher should be higher uh, talk, should be more talked about than than where he is currently being talked about. Um, if the Lions take him at eighteen, I think that's that's a home run. Uh, again, it's a position where where you think you know is it is it uh, is it the position that you really want him to go after? No, but it makes some sense. I mean, I think he's big enough with enough mass that you might be able to play him as a guard. Um, while he while he works out, you know, outside to the edges and becomes a right tackle for you. Um, again, massive human being. But but so the questions the questions from from an Anderson standpoint are, you know, what kind of what kind of first step does he have? Why can't he threaten a, a big, heavy offensive tackle like Anderson? Why can't he beat him around the corner? Um, those are the questions I have watching that game, that specific game. I would ask, I would urge everybody to watch that game and look at that matchup when those two go, when they go head to head. And you know, it's it's uh, Wright kind of owns him in that game where where he he dominates that matchup. And I think that's that's the tape that everybody should be watching as far as like this is the this is what Wright can do against what some consider to be you know a really a special pass rusher he locks him up shuts him down and um you know question for from for will anderson is did alabama not want him outside the tackle you know did they want him going inside did they want him just uh you know did they just want him to head up on the tackle to where he wasn't where they didn't they weren't asking him to go outside those are questions i would ask because it it sure doesn't look like he he wanted to get there um again so so just questions it's uh it's observations about that specific game um it's an interesting matchup you know in a lot of ways there's a lot of there's a lot of talent on the on the the field there but you know it's that particular matchup was was eye-opening for both of them um it gave it gave me some pause for for Anderson, and it made me think very good things about Darnell Wright. So that's just kind of wraps that up. Um, and I just a random, I know it's a random thought and just kind of like a, you know, uh, observation about one game. And it, again, it's one game, so it's you know you got to watch a lot more. But in that one matchup, you can see you can see how Darnell Wright shines. You can see how he looks at times and how good it looks. And you can see uh, Anderson having some issues not being able to run through him and really struggling to find much else. So um, that's it. Those are uh, two, you know, both round one players. Um, just, just some thoughts on both of those guys um, and that matchup. You guys have a good one.